Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Nicole. I'm a homeschooling mom to a six, almost five year old, and a one and a half year old. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a Memoria Press book study um, that we have gotten a little bit into, and I just want to tell you guys all about it. Okay, so Memoria Press has, I have their little catalog here, which I have like dog eared. That's what it's called, right? Um, so many different things and this is a lot of their different um, book studies they call them like literature guide I think um, so they have like for the younger so I might do that with my um, going to be kindergartner next year it says grade one but um, and then what I have right now um, to show you guys is a grade two one um, for my first grader and then here are some third and fourth grade ones, and then it goes all the way up, like through high school. Um, I think you can probably just request one of these if you want to also like dog ear a million pages. I just recently got interested in um, everything they have and I'm very excited about it. I still use other curriculums too, but anyway, let's talk about this. I did mention this in my um, like brainstorming curriculum video and I told you guys that I was going to be starting with one Sorry if I'm like shivering, it snowed today and I'm in our sunroom, which has like the worst insulation. And um, yeah, it's pretty and snowy, but it's freezing in here. I'm in sweatpants. Okay, anyway, I told you in the brainstorming video that we were going to give these a try and or give one a try this year to see if it's what we want to do, to do next year. And I think we do. So I'm gonna start off with the book that we chose, um, Animal Folk Tales of America. So, my one-year-old, one-year-old, <laughs> my first grader, um, will read the story. I have him just like read it out loud to me. Um, so you can get an idea for kind of the, uh, difficulty level of it. And I think it's a couple pages. Yeah, that's it. So it's like four pages essentially. Um, and he was laughing reading it. He got, he thought it was really funny because it's like a, this first story is about a fish that, um, it's called Fish Out of Water. So it's about a fish that is like jumping around and like hiking and stuff. And, um, it's really cute. And then we do the, um, we do, it's only one page of questions. So this is for that same one. I don't really want to bend the book, sorry. Um, so this is what his student one looks like. And then it has the answers typed in here. And I love that it has a discussion question at the end. Um, so this, they don't have to write this exact thing. This is just like an idea, um, general like answer. And so we did not do the pronounce and say because he's like a really great reader and he doesn't need help with that. So we skipped that wasn't necessary. The vocabulary section, um, so there's the words stranded and they use it like from the sentence in the story. Stranded moccasins, which I already had like talked to him while he was reading. I didn't realize it was going to be in here because I'm really great and I, I pre-read everything. But uh, anyway, <laughs> the moccasins, I was like, oh yeah, I explained to him what they were. So he knew what to write for that. And then peered is the last one. He goes, oh, I know what that is. And he got really excited. It was really sweet. Um, and then comprehension question. <laughs> my husband's giving my daughter a bath and hollering at my sons about something. Oh, asking if they want to get in because they are all just playing out in the snow. I don't like the cold. I also have like a thyroid thing, so it's like not all my fault. You probably see them running around. Okay, anyway, um, so here he has to write them in full sentences, whereas for the definitions, for the vocabulary, um, it doesn't need to be. So we've been talking about this. Um, we've been doing this verbally with, um, oh, what is it called? I think it's this uh, well-trained mind. Is that what it's called? Okay, it's like a writing thing, but you can like make your own writing program. Um, mm, I'll insert it, but uh, I've talked about it on my channel before too. Anyway, um, so we've worked on verbally doing full sentences for answers and then like I'll write it down. We've done a little bit of him writing it, but this is the first time where we've really done it and he loved it. He absolutely loved it. He's um, the following day. So we've only done one, but I think I have a pretty good feel for it because all the pages are like very similar. It's not the exact same question. It's very dependent on the story, which I love because I've seen some where every single time the question is, who was the main character? What were their names? 
um, what's the plot of the story, things like that. And I like how these are really specific. It makes him able to answer it. Because when I've asked him before, like, oh, what's the story about? Uh, <laughs> and if I'm like, um, what was your favorite part? I'd, it has to be specific for him to be able to answer it. So it's hard for me to say an example because it has to be specific. Okay. Anyway, the next day he was like, are we going to do my book study? And he was really excited. Um, and then it has the discussion question at the end. This one was reread the title of the story, which was Fish Out of Water. Um, what does that expression mean? And so we were able, he didn't know. So we were able to talk about it and talk about, I was like, if you went to dad's job today and they didn't train you or anything and you just had to work, you would be a fish out of water. And I don't know, it was just really fun and something kind of cool for him to learn um, that he didn't really know already. So it comes with, I think it was like $30. It is so affordable. This book, which I love, I would choose this book anyway. I wish they had more, most of them are chapter books or, um, yeah, chapter books, I guess. Um, so except for the little kid ones where I'm reading them to them, they're picture books. Um, but I love how it's a lot of short stories. Um, so we're gonna do this and then we'll probably do the, I think it's the Peter Rabbit ones next because those are also short and we already have them. Um, so it comes with the actual book for them to read, the teacher guide, um, which I like to get teacher guides the first time. I'm not convinced yet that you need it. Um, just here's another example. If you want to see, this is what is included in them. Um, I'm just, I'm not convinced that you really need it. I might not get it next time, but once they get a little bit more like difficult, it might be even more helpful. So you get the teacher guide and the student guide in that book for $30, which I think is a um, pretty good deal. Um, so like I said, they have other ones. Um, it's available on their website, or I believe that places um, like Rainbow Resource and things, I think have it. Um, oh yeah, I always see it actually on um, christianbook.com. They will very often have a um, sale for them, like 25% off or something. I just get their email, so I'm like, oh, okay. Um, and then lastly, they do, if you're part of like a charter school or something like that, or you're secular, um, they have a Memoria charter site as well. So you can um, easily order with charter funds or if you're not comfortable with religious material in your homeschool, that's an option too. So this was, did, I don't think this has any religious material in it, but it was from their regular site. Um, but they do have other things too. So it just makes it easy that they just have that if you want to check it out that way. And yeah, I think that's everything for this. Um, I'm very excited about it. And I love it already. And mostly I think because it was it's a really good book too. But I really like the simplicity of the study. It's a really good like dip your toes in and um, give them a little bit extra of a challenge. But I'm Shimreen. So I'm going to go and warm up by our wood stove. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe.